Welcome to another physics video. Our topic today is electrical resistance and Ohm's law. Electrical resistance is a property of materials. We use it to describe how the materials impede or prevent electric current. Electric current describes the flow of electrons in a wire. So, if the wire resists the flow, there will be less current. That is an excellent observation. It is the nature of resistance that it will be inversely related to current. Let's see if we can get an idea of what might go on inside of a wire to allow or prevent current. The diagram shows some of the electrons inside a wire. The open circles are free to move around, but the dark circles can only vibrate in their current position. One copper atom has 29 electrons and only one or two are free to move around. It is important to keep in mind that there are many more bound electrons than free electrons. Now suppose we turn on an electric field inside the wire by connecting it to a battery. Here's what it might look like. If the electric field points this way, I must be at the high voltage end of the wire. You are. And, I'm at the low voltage end. The question now is, which way will the free electrons try to move? Well, I know that positive charges would move the way the electric field points, so I think the electrons will try to move the opposite direction. Let's add some arrows to show the movement of the free electrons. As soon as the electric field is turned on, every free electron in the wire will begin to try and move in the direction of the red arrows. This happens instantly, so, all the free electrons start going to the right in the diagram. But, some have an easier time moving than others. The electron in the green circle has an unobstructed path and will be able to move forward quite easily. However, the one in the magenta circle will immediately collide with the stationary electron. This will cause the stationary electron to vibrate more. That will increase the energy of the wire and its temperature will increase. To determine the current, we need to determine how much charge moves past some point in the wire. Let's add a line to show this point. The orange line is our reference for counting electrons that go by. If we change the material that the wire is made of, there might be less stationary electrons in the way of the free ones. In that case we would say there is less resistance. So. The structure of the material will determine the resistance? Yes. But, there are still some things we can do to help current flow. Suppose we made the wire thicker. How would that affect what is going on? Here is what it might look like. The dotted line shows the old width of the wire. You can see that making the wire thicker increases the number of free electrons that can go past our orange line. So. If we make the wire thicker there will be more current. And, if there is more current, then that means there is less resistance. So, making the wire thicker decreases the resistance of the wire. Let's summarize what we know. By changing the material of the wire we can change the obstacles that prevent free electrons from moving. And, the resistance of the wire is inversely related to the area across the wire. The thicker it is, the less resistance it will have. It's harder to draw a picture for this, but it also turns out that if we make the wire longer, it will have more resistance. You can think of it this way. Making the wire longer doesn't increase the number of free electrons like increasing the area does, but it might add more obstacles. Now that we understand resistance, we can talk about what George Ohm discovered. Suppose we create a larger electric field inside the wire. That would make the electrons move faster and I should see more go by in the same amount of time. So, if there is a larger electric field, we should get more current. But, how do you get a larger electric field? You might remember from the last unit that electric field and potential difference, or voltage, are directly related. So, to get a stronger field you need to use more voltage. What Ohm realized was that if you can increase the voltage used to produce a current, you will get more current. There is a direct relationship. And, Ohm is the person who gave us the idea of resistance and he defined it so that current is inversely related to resistance. 
Putting it all together, we get the equation shown, I equals V divided by R. This equation shows us how to create current. But, it is not very algebra friendly. So we often rearrange the variables like this. The second equation helps us solve problems. I think we did an experiment in class to try and verify Ohm's law. We got a straight line when we graphed voltage as the independent variable and current as the dependent variable. Excellent. Ohm would be proud. That's all for this video.